Hey guys, this is Vernier, and I'm joined here by uh, Wishy Wish from Two Plus Two, and I'll let him introduce himself. Hello, guys. I'm Wishy Wish. Um, most of you, <laughs> most of you know me from the UNL forums at uh, Two Plus Two, I guess. So I joined Vernier for a small hand history review session. So there's there's two spots which are are pretty similar, and it includes us having marginal made hands. Well, I guess you can talk about the the relative hand strength of uh, these hands. But we're going to be in position, and we are going to have somebody check call the flop. So here here's the first of these hands. I open a seven suited on the button. Yeah, it's pretty standard so far. And I'm called by this player who, over a, you know, two two and a half orbits, is playing fifty twenty two. So he's going to be playing. We can only assume a, a pretty wide range, and we hit a pretty good flop. Uh, we've got right. second pair to the board with the top kicker, and he checks, and we're certainly going to be value betting it here. Yeah, obviously, uh, second pair is good enough to value bet such a guy. He flats, which I think he could do with a insanely wide range. Yeah, I expect even him to call it like even queen jack. Sometimes, sometimes like no pair, no draw at all. Pretty right, open. like ace high. Um, ace high is actually a strong part of his range. I expect him to be. Um, ace high is actually a, some sort of a draw, like three outs to an over pair. But uh, I expect him to be calling with like, let's say, like total junk, like queen nine of clubs, let's say. I mean, basically just some some lame backdoors. Or any gut shot. Sometimes just just the hands that he just found really nice preflop, like I say, jack ten of hearts. He'll just call on more streets. He'll just do it. I mean, uh, these type of guy just do it. So keep that in mind. I mean, any card might hit him. So just uh, I'm not saying that we're not gonna value better our hands, but just uh, keep in mind because okay. uh, his calling range is actually even wider than you think. I mean that's 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 certainly wider than I gave him credit for. Um, the turn is a queen, which I mean certainly completes uh, the queen jack reverse flood if you had it. <laughs> but well, I mean I just uh, randomly said that. <laughs> um, it doesn't mean that he has a queen, but um, he I checks. Would certain, yeah, I would bet it here. And yeah. I do bet it. Um, and the reason I bet it is just because his wide his his wide is so incredibly range. His range is so incredibly wide. Um, but I go for about a half size bet here, half size pod bet, and um, this bet size is what I wanted to talk to you about. I don't like it. Okay. Uh, for, for several reasons. First, uh, this is the type of guy they. I mean, these guys are playing these limits. Obviously, he's not a regular. He's just uh, playing for fun and for some strange ego issues, like uh, trying to feel superior to someone else. So, I mean. I guess this guy is actually more like, oh, he bets weak. I mean, he's, this is the kind of guy who, who wants to sense weakness in the live saying, like, I sense weakness, so I raise you. Right. So I think we actually don't want to do it because first, our hand can't raise a stand. I mean, uh, I can't stand the raise one. <laughs> well, uh, and the second reason is we actually, I mean, he might do it with a better hand or a worse hand, but I mean, when we bet bigger, he's, uh, let's say he has a 4x. He's not going to fall just because we bet $2. He's just going to call anyway. Right. So let's let's say he has a draw. I mean, we are okay to lose two more bucks in this hand if he has the better hand because versus his general calling range, we are actually crushing. So I'd much rather just uh, bet bigger here with the intention of checking back most rivers, though. I mean, I'm not going to. Go for three streets of value, but even if you bet small here, I don't think you can bet the river for value. Right. Do you think you can get the three streets of value? Because he, he can't be calling the river with with a misdraw, obviously. So um, now, I mean, we are betting here because we, he can easily have tons of like gut shots, draws, uh, five draws, straight draws. Whatever. So even even let's say he, I mean, Jack Ten that I talked about that is just not gonna fall just to a bet. Now he has an open ender. So, I mean, stuff like that, stuff that just picked up some equity. So, we can get some value from verse on the turn, but we won't be able to value that river unless we improve. So I prefer just 
betting big here to get more value from when you say big do you mean like two dollars yeah obviously i mean we're not not gonna overbet it but uh i prefer like yeah two dollars 2.1 maybe okay 